Don't even try it, bro. Don't, don't, no, sh just no. Just, thank you. Who? Thank you. Good, good. Brother, brother's hound. Get fucked, bit. Get absolutely fucked. Good, good, good. Good work, Shinpei. Fuck that bitch, okay? Hell f no, we ain't doing this Kirito Suguha bullshit again. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, time travel enthusiasts, anime enjoyers, and you guys back there. Yeah, I see you. Welcome back to some more summertime render. Now, before anything, I have changed some of uh, my my microphone settings yet again. Uh, just to make things a little bit easier for me. I don't know if it sounds better or worse, but I did some testing and it sounded fine. Uh, mainly because I was setting up some uh, I was setting up some potential settings for uh, streaming potentially. Now, I'm not saying that I'm gonna stream, but you know, like just in case, right? Um, so it would be kind of set up and honestly. So I don't have to do as much editing, kind of having to change the volumes in editing and stuff. With that said, let us get back to what happened previously on Summertime Render. We learned that basically there is not just a murderer going around. There is a shadow going around. Now, at first, originally I thought it was just some sort of like... Probably some sort of serial killer going around making it seem like it was a shadow. But apparently there is some sort of supernatural being going around killing people and replacing them with shadows. There there was another thing that I wrote down, which is um, the question of whether or not maybe the main character, every time he goes back in time, I've started thinking maybe every time he does, he ends up being, or waking up, slightly closer to the present time. Because like, the first time he died, he went back to when he was on the boat. Then, he died the second time, and then he was already on the pier. He didn't start from the boat again, which is very interesting. Now, whether or not that is actually a thing, or they maybe just tr decided to skip the, the boat part, I don't know. But um, that could be a very interesting and, and important plot point. I also wrote down stupid fan service, which, yeah, like... From the first two episodes, I would say the main problem with this show so far is um, stupid fan service. Like, last episode was probably the first time, the first time I've ever skipped a scene when I'm reacting to something. Because I, I just, I can't handle shit like this. I, I... Uh, if you saw the previous episode, you know what I'm talking about. Without further ado, let me just get into episode three of... Summertime render. It's already too too late. Again. <laughs> They, they keep saying, like, um, like if you see the shadow, you're gonna die. Unfortunately, that's not necessarily true, right? They're, they've started believing that you only die when you see the shadow. That's not necessarily true. You probably do die if, if you see the shadow because they see you in return, right? Most likely. So they kill any witnesses. But you don't necessarily just die when they see you, right? I really hope the I really hope the microphone settings the new new mic settings are working fine. The problem is I I had to like basically yeah like I I changed quite a few settings. I turned a lot of things around and like I was messing with them a lot and uh, I really wanted to increase the volume naturally and now it kind of looks like it's going into the red every single time. Well, not every single time, but like a lot of the time. Ah, fuck it. I, I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. I, I tested. It, it sounds fine. It sounds fine. All right. What, what was his name again? Shimpei. All right, Shimpei. Let's go. Shimpei. Oh, 
この留守子のなんや、空いてるやんおばちゃん、いてへんのいいんですか、勝手にやがってかまへんなおばちゃん Interesting, we're getting more information now. They were seemingly there eating breakfast. Though, is actually. Is that breakfast or is that dinner? I mean, there's, that is. I, you know, I, I'm, I'm just a kind of a sandwich for breakfast type of guy. So to me, this is like, there's no fucking shot that this is your breakfast, bro, right? Right? I mean, this looks like, like noodles of some kind. There's no shot you're eating that for breakfast. So this was dinner. And bear in mind, they haven't even used the, the chopsticks, right? So this is most likely they set up, um, they set up the food. And before they even started eating for dinner la last night, then they got uh, taken out. And the TV's been on the whole night. Although... Okay, that, that's a little weird. I, why are they doing that? Why are they like, why is, why is he having some sort of like second personality talking to him now? You don't need to do that. You, you really don't need to do that. You can just have him narrati narrating his thoughts. You, you really don't need to do that. And wh where is this even coming from? Right? Why is there all of a sudden just a random second personality that he's talking to? Like, come on. Maybe maybe they're trying to make it seem like it's his like subconscious or something. But like, no, 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 no. Like, you don't need to do that. Yeah, we, we, we deduce that. Something heavy that hit the ground. I mean, could have been uh, a murder weapon. Could have been murder. Uh, could have been the murder weapon. Turn on the light, bro. Turn on the light. 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 She's just standing there, isn't she? That's what I would do. Uh oh. Ooh. Ooh, I didn't even think of that, but um, when they when they take the appearance of someone else, right, it seems like they can like get their memories. Because we saw when we saw the shadow Mio, you know, kill the police officer and then the, the shadow took the police officer's place. Even though Mio w was like, you are this person from now on. And then the shadow immediately started spouting like information that there's no way they could have known, or maybe maybe they did, but like immediately took the uh, the personality of the police officer, right? So it's like they must have some sort of access to their memories, a hundred percent. In other words, you definitely, you definitely don't want to say anything about the shadows to people who then might get taken over. We can only hope that the shadows don't retain information through the um, the time travel, and that he is the only one who is retaining information every, every loop, basically. 
Otherwise, it's fucked. So, my unfortunate, uh, I, w I would say. Something that's kind of unfortunate is that uh, the main character is not necessarily the smartest, smartest guy, right? I mean, he's not bad, but like, he's not exactly, I mean, just sitting here and then, you know, saying the wrong thing when you're surprised. Like, I understand he's like, he's not exactly fucking, you know, L, right, from Death Note, but still, you know, I, I kind of wish he would like, I don't know. Be a little bit more competent. And like, what is he doing just standing here right now? At this point, you know you're found out. And he's forming a shadow right, like, right there. Like, run downstairs or something. Right? Like, like do something. Don't just stand there. Not alone, hopefully. They're probably following you now. No, 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 no. You did meet her. You just, you, you came to on the dock, which means you already met her. Why would, you, why would he say that he hasn't met her anymore? 100% he has, right? It's just that he woke up later on in the timeline. This is... This is... This is the, the drunk guy, right? Which means there had... Like, him saying, Oh, you were asking about this, this woman. And then he... Uh, the main character was like, Who? Must have been someone else. In other words, that must have happened. There, there must be some sort of other time travel thing going on as well, where they're physically going back in time. Maybe. Big boobs. That's what I'm saying. あの女性はどこにも宿泊しておらず、足取りをつかむことはできなかった。喧嘩なのか。俺一人の力では。せいちゃん、どうやった？いらっしゃいませ。とつむら。あっ、あっ。ほら、新米軍お前何キロの通報嘘やんけ。どこでランドロ。いつものビーランチ、エビフライ追加でライス注文にね。おお、あっとるやんけ。あ。おお。Honestly, I'm not going to lie. Shit like this, this this whole storyline right now is shit that I love. I have to say. Like, yes, time travel, like, I'm, I've said this before, but I'm a, I'm a sucker for time travel, right? But I love the idea that, like, him, like, every time he goes back, right, the, 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 how do I say this? Like, the tension, the massive amount of tension there is, right? 
One, he has to figure out what is this power that he has that allows him to go back in time. Why is he going back in time in the first place, right? Number two, you have these shadows that are killing people, right? And so you have to like, while trying to figure out how your time travel power works, you also have to figure out, okay, I have to start remembering things like, okay, well, this character goes, you know, this person goes to this place at this time on the first day. Uh, you know, we can use that. Then once that happens, you start kind of having like a Groundhog Day, um, you know, like you have to start remembering certain things and knowing certain things and like doing certain things at certain times kind of. And every loop that you go through, you will learn more information and, and, and start making plans on how to counter the shadows. And it's like, ah, it's, it's so like, I love the, the tension filled uh, stories of time travel. It's so good because like, you know that like the more time passes with every loop, more people are getting killed by the by the moment. It's it's like if you've ever played, um, I think it was Outer Wilds. There's Outer Worlds and then there's Outer Wilds. I'm not sure which one it is, but it's that one, the space exploration one, where where every 15 minutes uh, it repeats, right? It's kind of like that, where it's like you know that time passes and you're kind of on the clock constantly. And there's this tension. What's this? Okay, okay. So it seems like Ushio knew something was going to happen and already prepared this situation. I'm, I'm, I'm a hundred percent, okay, maybe not a hundred percent, but I'm kind of like 90% sure that at some point, the main character is going to go back in time physically. Not just like dying and then waking up uh, in, you know, in his, uh, in his back past body, but like, he's going to go back in time physically somehow, where there's going to be two of him. There's got to be. Or at least there's got to be some sort of um, version of this where information is transmitted between timelines somehow. Because, you know, we, we already set up the fact that the, the, the drunk guy talked to him in the first loop that we know of talked to him and said, oh, you already asked me about this, this, uh, this woman with big tits, right? And he was like, no, I didn't, huh? And now we saw him in this loop asking about that, but he didn't ask that in the first loop, which means there's gotta be some sort of information going between timelines somehow. Now, m normally the most, uh, most common version of this is that someone goes back in time physically where there's two of them in the same timeline at some point maybe has the ability to like go back in time temporarily or something and then he asked the old guy the the drunk guy ab about the woman and then once the question has been answered then he goes back to his own time or something like i don't know there's a lot of things that could happen and and the fact that ushio knew to to set this up means that Maybe Ushio had the same power as he does, like the ability to uh, go back in time, and maybe he, maybe she survived in some of the timelines. Maybe she survived long enough to where, um, to where you know Shinpei would uh, would arrive, and then maybe they tried to work together, but they still couldn't figure it out. And then maybe Ushio figured out something in the end with the fact that oh, she has to kind of sacrifice herself and leave the phone behind for this to get resolved. Doctor Strange, you know, uh, one out of 14 million possibilities type of thing. 
てよ分かってたみたいやろ。ウシオちゃん、自分に何が起きんのか。事態は複雑に絡み合っている。Not to mention. Not to mention, you know, just like with Link Click, you know, if you've seen that show,、uh, if you haven't, you know, I also reacted to that one. Just like with that show, you don't know who is the enemy because any one of these could be a shadow in disguise. So, so you never know who, who can be trusted. No, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Stupid. Idiotic. I'm telling you, the if the main character was a little bit smarter, that would be that that would honestly be be great. But he's he's I'll 100% predict this right now. So is already dead. And this is a shadow. And he's gonna tell the shadow everything, and then the shadow kills him. The one thing I would never, if I was the main character, I, the one thing I would never tell anybody. Is about the time travel. If he says, if he tells him about the time travel, he's a, he's a fucking idiot. Not necessarily. Again, that's just dumb. That's, that's dumb. Why would you think Mio is the next target? We, we saw Shadow Mio standing outside her house with a, with a knife, and then the police officer came, and then she just killed him. And then the Shadow police officer said, Why haven't you already killed her? You have a gun. Maybe the, the Shadow. Uh, or maybe, maybe the police officer was. I mean, if there is an order, then the police officer would have been first and then Mio. But he already figured that the police officer has not been killed, so Mio would not be the next one. Right? And if, if we're thinking, well, there is no order, then why would you say that Mio is the next target? Because she's not. There is no order to things, right? So it's like,、uh, thinking that Mio is the next target is just. Like, you're, you're shooting yourself in the foot here. She's a target, sure. That would be unlikely. That's just stupid. Literally, that's just stupid. That's, that's incredibly stupid. That makes literally no sense. I, 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 you know, I, I thought the main character was stupid, but goddamn, this guy is even dumber than, than he is. Why would the shadow ever. And, and <laughs> this is what I'm saying, right? Why. You don't even need to tell him this. He should know this himself if you just thought about it before saying it. Why the fuck would the shadow tell you about themselves? There is no reason to. They're already picking you off one by one. Might as well. Why would, you, why would the shadow himself tell you about the existence of the shadow? It just doesn't make sense. What It seems that he is keeping the fact that he, he can go back in time from them, which is very, very good. The time travel thing, like, when you're dealing with shit like this where you don't know who you can trust, you never, you never tell them about the, the, the time travel thing because that's basically your, your final、um, trump card to play that always saves you. 
and keeps you in the game. Once you tell them about it, they'll know not to kill you and keep you locked up somewhere instead. いや、どこへ行くにも賑やかであればあるほど安全のはずだ。昼子様へ行くのに祭りは都合がいい。何や水臭いな。お前も俺を信じて話してくれたんやろ。まだ100%信じてないぞ。Good. I think, yeah, the main, the, the most important thing is that he does not tell anyone about the time travel thing. Like, people might suspect. You know, the shadows might suspect something because he has so much information. Like, out of nowhere. But... It's still impossible to know. And e even if they suspect that he can go back in time, they don't know how, right? The last thing you would probably think is, oh, that he goes back in time when he dies. You know, uh, like I said, I, 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 I said my piece about this. I, I don't actually want some weird romance to happen here. It's, it's just kind of cringe. Focus, focus on the time travel. Focus on the story. Interesting. So certain things will still happen, even in different situations. At different times. Interesting. Gotta keep in mind. Oh, please. I actually like the other one. Ugh, nah, nah, sorry. You're too basic. Too basic. You're too basic, bro. Sorry. Not really. You know, one of the most... Like, if you, if you, if you had to choose, if you had to choose between these two, which one would you pick? I bet you the majority of people would pick the, the, the pink haired one. Straight up. Not even joking. Like, Mio is just super boring. And generic. I'm not gonna lie. He's 100% a shadow. 100%. I think this is gonna be one of those things where they, they're making, they're playing the long haul, right? The long con, where they try to really make you think that this, this, this best friend character is not a shadow, and then turns out he is a shadow. It's probably going to be one of those things where he starts, you know, the Shinpei starts uh, fully, finally thinking, oh, he's not a shadow. <sighs> Great. And then he gets backstabbed. Don't have to yell, bro. Jesus. Yes, brother and nothing else. Brother and nothing else. It's fucking cringe. Good, good. Don't make it some sort of weird, like, jealousy thing. Oh, 
Honestly, that would be great. That would honestly be great if over the course of the show, the best friend character here, uh, So, uh, gets with Mio or they start kind of, you know, hanging out more and they, they start maybe, you know, getting to know each other more. And then our protagonist, Shinpei, gets with the, the, the pink haired one instead. Uh, honestly, it doesn't even have to be her. It, anybody else. Anybody else except for this Mio character. I would imagine they're gonna essentially somehow bring Ushio back. Because she's basically on the cover, right? But like, uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just really hoping that this, this is not gonna happen, right? Mm, 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 sus, sus, sus. Uh, it's shit like this I don't care about, really. No, 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 no. Shut the fuck up. We're not doing this. Nope, nope. Don't care, don't care. Nope. Don't, don't even try it, bro. Don't, don't, no, sh just no. Just, thank you. Who? Thank you. Good, good. Brother, brother's hound. Get fucked, bitch. Get absolutely fucked. Good, good. Good. Good work, Shinpei. Fuck that bitch, okay? Hell fucking no, we ain't doing this Kirito Suguha bullshit again, okay? Fuck that shit. What? <laughs> yeah, right, bro. And you know that if, if you did see Ushio, it would be a shadow, bro. It would be a shadow, you know that. Again, it's a shadow, bro. You know it's a shadow. <laughs> on the other hand, actually, on the other hand, what would happen if you kill one of the shadows? Do they just disappear? Or do they leave a body behind? Because if they, if they leave a body behind, then it could be that Ushio killed the shadow and then left the body behind. Could be, could be. This is stupid though. Just being lured out in the middle of nowhere. You're just being lured, bro. Well, he's dead. He's fucking dead. Is there a reason why they can't have her wear anything other than a basic swim, you know, swimsuit, you know, school, school Mizugi, as they as they call it? Is there a reason for that? Because she's like everyone else, you know, is, is dressed normally, even on the the promotional art of the of the show. But she's like in the fucking swimsuit. And bear in mind, right? She's wearing something normal here. Hmm, interesting how that works, right? Almost like something that might have shape shifting capability she's wearing something normal here but now all of a sudden you follow her and she's here with in a in a fucking school swimsuit right it's like uh <laughs> bruh another thing i wanted to talk about right is god damn it the main character like <sighs> how do i say this i don't like characters that keep feeling overthinking i i get you know he he probably liked her right sure I get Shinpei like Toshio, but like, you know that there's these shadows that have shape-shifting capabilities. They're going around killing people, right? And you know that you were about to die earlier, and then, but you got saved by the, by the woman that was with you uh, when you were going to that, into that fucking uh, apartment building, checking on the, um, the other family that disappeared, right? They revealed themselves to you. Which means you are probably the next target because they need to get rid of you before you blab to other people, right? And now, and now, you're getting 
lured by someone that you know and would obviously run after because you would assume that she's dead so so obviously they use her her, her appearance to lure you and it's like the fact that he so easily just followed her into a very danger potentially dangerous situation is just kind of like i just kind of wish the main character would be a little bit more competent right just think a little bit more he's almost there he's he's almost smart enough just just barely enough but like we just need a little bit more right shit like this i need him to not fall for shit like this and then then he would be fine um another thing i liked was that you know mion immediately got fucking sisters owned okay or br brothers owned uh i guess sisters owned yes yeah, sisters owned I, I i don't want this to happen i just don't we've seen this type of character so many times everywhere in every fucking show we see we see this character pretty much and it's like just just again as i said i would much rather and I, I'm, I'm serious about this i would much rather shinpei get with her instead straight up i'm not even joking why because she actually seems to have a personality meanwhile mio is just a typical shy like childhood friend character it's like we've seen this so many times before and granted the it's not like the the pink haired girl is much better but like at least she seems to have some sort of personality and and we don't see those types of characters um get with the main character that often so it's like you know that would be at least something more unique than the the child or friend um but yeah that's about it i mean i guess we'll have to see what happens next time until then i shall bid you adieu ladies and gentlemen